Swamiji, uh, my question to you is, uh, would you agree that India, after a thousand years, is finally witnessing a confident, self-assured Indic Renaissance, redefining herself through the prism of her own worldview? If so, what does a strong, resurgent India, or rather Bharat, mean for both India and the world? Yes, definitely. I feel that India is redefining herself. I remember when I first started coming to India back early 1980s, then you really felt the atmosphere of Bharat. And then as time went on, things became more westernized and materialistic, and you could see the difference. But now we see that things are changing again in Bharat and things are, are, are reverting to a more mode of goodness type of atmosphere. I can give an example that even in the Holy Dham, in the holy places like Vrindavan, I go every year to Vrindavan, mm -hmm. and the Yamuna in Vrindavan was so dirty, so, so much plastic, so contaminated, the most holy place. And it was just getting worse and worse. But we see that now Yamuna is being cleansed. The holy places are being taken care of. And not only that, but even people in villages, they're getting proper care. Proper facilities are being given to them. That, that Sanatan Dharma is also becoming again more prominent in the hearts of the people and this is very important for the world not just for india because when you have a spiritual substrata a spirituality as your foundation of a society then the society will be very strong and it will have longevity they've right. done surveys on this actually mm -hmm. you see mm -hmm. so there is no type of spiritual culture philosophy or practice and that is as broad and deep as Sanatan Dharma. Mm -hmm. So when India, a percentage of Indians or Bharatiyas, again, they not only have pride in Sanatan Dharma, but they practice Sanatan Dharma, then mm -hmm. it will uplift the consciousness and it will give all success, actually, to all the other endeavors. And this will actually affect the whole world. Previously, Bharat was not just India, Bharat was the world. You see, mm -hmm. so what happens in India, this actually affects the world. The rest of the world, they don't understand. They came to India and they were stealing so many things, mm -hmm. right? They right. stole the jewels, they stole the land, they stole the spices, so many things. And now they're stealing the intellectual property. But even the Vedas, they stole the Vedas and they changed the Vedas. Mm -hmm. But there's one thing they didn't steal. And that they cannot steal just like that, which is prem. That in, I explained Sanatan Dharma, the fruit is prem. Mm -hmm. Because they were interested in Lakshmi, mm -hmm. but they didn't want Narayan. Right. So right. now Bharat is so merciful, so magnanimous, mm -hmm. that Bharati people are going, hey, you forgot something. You took all this, but you forgot the most valuable thing. Let mm -hmm. me give you this. I hear that Prime Minister Modi, when he goes and meet, he gives them all Bhagavad Gita, right? Mm -hmm. This is the most valuable thing, please. You take this. Right. And this is the beauty of Bharat. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.